once I started to understand more about life and the ups and downs of it, um, my mother was definitely a strong role model in both what to do and what not to do, um, which I think is also really important uh, to understand the other side of the underbelly of, of it all. And because every role model and whoever you are, you're not walking on water. Yeah, every role model has had their, has their good and their bad. And hopefully a, a good role model will be honest and show the people who, who and what a life can offer and then people can take the best uh, from that. Um, so my mother taught me that and uh, in the kind of more of a global scale, one of the um, big role models for me was, um, was Sidney Poitier and Nelson Mandela. Uh, they were uh, very much kind of the, the, the people that when I would hear them talk um, growing up, I, and even now, um, it kind of stops me in my tracks because of the depth to which they talk about beyond themselves. No, my parents didn't encourage me. That lack of encouragement wasn't because of a lack of love. It was because of a lack of understanding and a lack of, um, I guess in a way, due to ignorance. And because their world wasn't expanded beyond what they knew. And what I love about what CAPE is doing and organizations like this is that it does take, off, take the veil off um, what we do. So I, you know, I recently had a conversation with my mom, mother about this and she had said, oh, well, you know, I never really um, pushed you towards creativity. I never really nurtured that or met that need uh, because I didn't know what it was. So you can't blame someone for that. And I know she doesn't love me less because of that. Just because my parents didn't know that it existed or how the steps were to get to, to be in entertainment. And so I had to learn and teach myself and uh, kind of build that self-esteem and uh, pride and uh, healthy ego in that. I think it's important. Part of this journey and being here today and being part of the I Am campaign and being with Kate this long, that is part of my journey in believing in hope. And so that comes from me. As much as people say, oh, you're here, thank you so much for doing this. I'm like, no, thank you, because you give me hope. And it kind of reinforces that. There are times when it feels like it's gone, but it's never gone. If kids out there, no, oh, hell, not even kids, you know, anyone. If you can have that, then nothing can stop you. So as I was telling you before, I... Hello? Yo, Ryan, this is Randall. Randall who? Of Randall Park. I know you didn't ask, but I came up with some nicknames for you. Yellow Mamba. Sriracha. But it'll be like, Sir Racha. It's my neighbor, Jessica Gomes. You mean Australian, Portuguese, Chinese, Sports Illustrated swimsuit model, Jessica Gomes? Whenever she comes by, it's like bubble guts. Hey, Steven. Hey, hey, hey. Hold on, I'm on the phone, so. Ten! Remember when you asked me about my skin regimen? Feel my feet. I no, seriously, it. feel it. That's mighty close. No, wow. really. Okay, that's perfect. I can't find rubies. Just thought I'd try something different. This is a date. This is not a date. This is a date. Hey, sorry I'm late. <laughs> what are you guys doing here? It's like an episode of the dating game. I'll be a cape role model. Awesome, thanks man. Right on. Hey, what exactly do I have to do? Just be yourself. Cool. Do I have to wear pants? Can I be a role model? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> I'm serious, but okay. <laughs>
Every time I call my dad, he's like, go do law school. It's so easy. <laughs> law school is not easy, man. Like, um, I can't do that. My mom, she wanted me to be a doctor, of course, but deep down, my passion was always art. We need to be more proactive. Asians need to step up. I mean, it's time. I'm Lisa Ling. You have to check out this campaign. It's at im-campaign.com.